Hello students, our topic for this particular module is called pre-computer or pre-computing devices. On that pre-computing devices, we shall be learning by listing the calculating devices developed from this age, the features, the components and their uses, and we'll also be knowing each and every one of their inventors. What then is the abacus? I know in time past you've heard about the word abacus. Abacus was basically invented around 500 BC. It was made up of strings or wires, frames and beads. You know, modern abacops uses sliding beads in columns that are divided into two by a center bar. The upper part, as you can see, is called the heaven, and each of the two beads representing the two hands is what five, which moved to the center. The lower part is called the head. The lower part of the abacus is called the head, where each of the five beads, also representing the fingers, is what one when moved towards the center. When you talk about abacus, abacus is really just a representation of the human fingers. It's just a representation of the human fingers and schools in those days make use of abacus in performing some problems and a, a good example is they helped in addition and subtraction of numbers this was the foundation of educational computation next is the napier bone the napier bone was invented in the year 1617 by a man called john napier the device involved a collection of movable numbered rods and a board also Napier or John Napier made use of this um, device when he constructed bones. So, reasons why the name was called Napier bones. John Napier developed Napier bones to solve or perform multiplication. Behind your text your notebook your no you would see multiplication table it was from the ideology of john napier that that was seen and used to perform this operation it made multiplication look easy and simple by me looking at the diagram you would know how the foundation all started from. Moving forward, we have the slide rule. The slide rule was developed or invented by William Houtstred in the year 1632. Slide rule is a mechanical analog computer. In its most basic form, the slide rule uses two logarithmic scales to halal rapid multiplication and division of numbers. William Outred was used. William Outred invention was used in performing logarithm. Reasons why he is called the father of logarithmic function. Slide rule was mainly used 
for multiplication and division and also for scientific purposes. Next is the Pascal calculator. The Pascal calculator was invented by Blaise Pascal and he invented the Pascal calculator also called the Pascal line in the year 1642. It is a gear or dial driven just as that of an analog telephone. The Pascal calculator is used for addition subtraction it is also used in evident in electricity meter the pascal calculator helped in modern day development next is the leibniz multiplier the leibniz multiplier was invented by gottfried william leibniz in the year 1671 it was an improvement of the pascal line it contains a special kind of gear called leibniz wheel as you can see and it could add subtract multiply and divide another name for this multiplier is called a stepped reckoner a stepped Reconna. and like I said it was invented in the year 1671 by this young man moving forward we have Jacquard Loom Jacquard Loom was invented by Joseph Maria Jacquard in the year 1801 this particular machine was controlled by a number of punched cards put together into a continuous sequence. It was used for producing fabrics with beautiful patterns. So basically it helped in sewing human clothes and other things. Next is the difference engine. The difference engine was created or invented by a big boss called Charles Babbage in the year 1822. Of course, everybody know that Charles Babbage was an English mathematics professor. He invented it in 1822, as I said and it was composed of 25,000 parts, weighed 15 tons and stood 8 feet high. It is basically used for calculating differential equation. Blaise Pascal also developed the analytical engine in the year 1832. And this engine was designed in another machine called an analytical machine which was deemed to be the first mechanical computer take note the analytical engine was the first mechanical computer moving forward we have a man allerate machine it was obviously developed by Herman allerate in the year 1980-90 and it helped in um, in the US census so this machine was used during census counting in the year 1890 and the inventor was Eman Ulleret last but not but definitely not the least is the Burroughs machine developed by a very intelligent man called William Seward Burrow in the year 1885 an American Arimometer company it was a mechanical hardening machine and it is 
it contains keypad levers registers and printers this is where the knowledge of printing came into play all of these are the very first pre-computing age that we have discussed so thank you and see you at the other side of computational devices bye bye